today, boys and girls, we're going to be taking a look at an earphone that I ended up picking up. It is a new release from Sound Peats, and man, I am super excited about this. I've been looking for a pair to replace my AirPods, which, strangely enough, I threw in the trash this week because I was just disgusted with them. Finally, they just don't work. But these are True Airs from Sound Peats, and they are finally something that works nice and loud. I've been testing them out for uh, the last 48 hours straight, and I am super happy with them. So without further ado, let's jump over the table and I'm going to show you what comes into the box. As a lot of you know, and you've probably seen in my past videos, I always end up having one in. And as you can see, I have one in now because I've been testing it for, well, the second part of 48 hours. In case you don't want to sit through the whole video, I will tell you right now for the, I think these were $42 prime shipped. They are worth it. The sound quality is actually a little bit better than the AirPods. They get louder than the AirPods. They don't have very much bass. I mean, they have bass if you're listening to music with a lot of bass, but you just, you don't feel that, that punch, um, but it's there. But if you listen to podcasts, audiobooks, um, things on YouTube, that's mostly like tutorials, things like that. These have been phenomenal. And let me tell you, in the first 24 hours, they advertise that these have about a four hour run time on one charge. I have to tell you, I wasn't listening to them solid, uh, it, but it was like off and on and I probably got about six hours solid listening time, but about 12 hours. I put them in about 6 a.m. yesterday morning and about 6 p.m., the, uh, the right side, which was the only side that I had undone, I had intentionally left it out all day, had it in my ear, testing it. I made a couple phone calls. I listened to an audiobook. I watched a bunch of videos on YouTube. And it didn't die until uh, almost, I think it was 4, 5, 45, something like that, that it's, it gave me the powering off and it shut itself off because it was dead. I don't know how these end up working on an Apple device because I have an Android device, but on the Android device, it shows you the power level of the, the earphone battery. And at 5 p.m., uh, I want to say about 5 p.m., it was still showing 50%. No, I take that back. I got off of work at 4 o'clock. So I checked it. I actually did a screenshot and I sent it to my friends because I was still super impressed. It had 50-60% battery power and I was listening to it constantly up until it died. So I think, I don't know how accurate the battery level indicator is because once it hit that 50%, it seemed to go down pretty fast compared to the rest of the day. The only issue that I ended up having is once it, um, I got kind of far away from it and once I did, it didn't lose sync with the phone but I noticed like watching videos, it was out of sync uh, just just by milliseconds, but it was still out of sync. Uh, I had to unsync and resync it uh, just by turning off the Bluetooth, turning it back on and it locked back in instantly. And then it was it was perfect after that. So keep that in mind. My test, I don't do like other video reviewers do where they put down their phone and they walk in a straight line, line of sight. Oh, I can go 100 yards from it. That's not real world conditions. Um, at least not for me. Uh, I work in an office building, so I end up going in and out of rooms and around hallways and everything like that. And I want to say 30 yards, I want to say, is probably about my maximum distance that I got away from it. That's with rooms and walls and all kinds of stuff in between it, and it didn't lose contact. So that's good. These do have five uh, Bluetooth 5.0, but I don't think that my phone does. So I want to just make that clear right there. So without further ado, guys, let's jump down to the table. I'm going to show you everything that comes in the box and then we'll get out of here. All right, boys and girls. So here we are with the Sound Pete's True Air. If I haven't mentioned already, I have been filming using the new light. If you're interested in checking that out, check up right there. I'm going to put a little card that'll take you to that review. I have been loving this BenQ light. It's, it's super awesome. I, I can do all kinds of things with it. That's what, what this video is about. This video is about, well, an alternative to the AirPods. So I did not want to spend another, what, $150, $200 on a pair of AirPods. And the new ones that just came out, I have zero interest in because, again, they have the issue 
of they have the little plugs that go into the ear and I cannot stand those. I can't get them to stay in, even using the smallest ones, even using the foamy ones. It doesn't matter. They pop out. These have been fantastic. I've had these for 48 hours now. They've been released and I think there's two other videos, uh, as I mentioned before, here on YouTube and I don't know. I, I go 50-50 when I end up watching uh, people's reviews and I suggest you do the same thing. Definitely, definitely um, do your research. You know, don't take my word for it. Don't take someone else's word for it. You know, whether it be flossy, whether it be unbox therapy, whatever it is, because I have in the past, I have gone and I have bought things based on their recommendations and then gone, are these guys on crack? Like, this is not the same product. This is not nearly as, as well done. These I have been super happy with. Are they exactly the same? No, because they had to change it up so they don't get sued by Apple. They fit the same. Uh, there is a little bit, it's different. If you've had a air, pair of AirPods, they're different. That's all I'm gonna say. So you have this little box right here, uh, sound for urban sports. You get some information on the back of here with their information, giving you a shot of the case and everything, sliding it out. You get this little black box. You open it up. You get charging tips, logo update. Evidently they're changing their logo. Benefits of signing up with them, customer care. You get some QR codes to be able to follow them on different media sites. You get a foam. We'll, we'll save this for sponging minis later. You get the ear pod case. You get another foam. You get a little box over here. Inside this box, you get a USB-C. It is about time companies start coming out with USB-C stuff. Now, this cable is super, super short. My phone, which is a Moto Z3, three, four, something like that. Um, it uses USB-C, so I don't even need that. I just use my phone's charger to charge this up. I've only charged it once, and that was just to see how long it took to top it off. You get an instruction booklet here that is in about eight billion different languages. Super, super easy. I'll bring you up close so you can take a look at it if you want. The instructions are almost exactly like a pair of AirPods. Like I said, super easy, nothing difficult about this at all. FCC statements, warranty, registration, what comes in here, blah, 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 blah. Uh, it is Bluetooth 5.0. It uses a Bluetooth uh, QCC 3020 chip, audio decoding, AppDex, AAC, and SBC. Um, and it'd help if I was reading that in English. Um, let's see, maximum working range, 10 meters, uh, working time about five hours. I've gotten 12 hours of constantly in my ear and then probably out of that 12 hours, six hours of constant listening, but that's pretty damn good. That's better than my AirPods ever got. Uh, charging time uh, for charging case, about two and a half hours. Ear put, uh, earbuds charged by uh, charging case five times. Uh, that's supposed to give you about 30 additional hours. And then dimensions, uh, 42 by 17 by 16 millimeters. That's the earbud itself. Let's get that out of the way. Let's get that out of the way. So here's the case itself. You have a pairing button that is right there. There's no LEDs. There's no frills. I do have to say this isn't, I don't want to say it's the same quality. This case feels, feels great. Um, but it's a different plastic than the AirPods are. Uh, it's just different. Uh, it doesn't have that same weight to it. Uh, you get some information in here. You get your two AirPods. And right now, it's uh, it just automatically synced with my phone right there. And I don't think the camera is picking it up, but that is a green LED. It will flash when you open it up. It'll flash white a couple times, and then it automatically syncs up with your phone. These are a little slick and I'm used to, I was grabbing my um, AirPods out of the case like this. These you just want to grab like this, grab like that. You get your charging ports that are down there. I have not had an issue and I usually don't wear both of them at the same time. 
Um, I wear them separately. And that way I get like maximum life out of there. Plus, I like being aware of my surroundings. A lot of people want to you know, block out their surroundings. And I'm someone that I like being aware of my surroundings at all times. And that's what I want to show you guys. And this one's already, it's already dirty. It's got a screen right there. Screen seems to be pretty good. You've got a screen right there, which I'm assuming is for, it's either for pass through or it's uh, for venting. You get another one up here. I believe the site says, um, check the link that's going to be down below to verify what I'm saying, but I think these are IPX5, uh, I want to say. Uh, you're supposed to be able to, like, if you sweat heavily or if you get caught in the rain, things like that, just don't take them in the pool. Your normal, your normal precautions. Uh, these will end up surviving. So you get your little charging plugs that are right down there. You get your microphone port, which is right there. And what's nice is when it's in your ear, this faces you. So it blocks out a lot of your surrounding noise. I haven't had any problems with people hearing me. So that's what these end up looking like. I have not had an issue. They are, this is, the stem is a little bit bigger around. It's more of an oval shape than the AirPods but these have been fitting in my ears perfectly fine. I've had no issues. Because you guys wanted a really close shot of my head, this is what the true airs look like in your ears. If you like the AirPods, if you like the aesthetic of them, if you like the, the way they end up feeling, these haven't popped out of my ears, not once. I've done shake tests, I've gone, um, I can't jog because of my leg, but I've gone heavy walking. Uh, I've gone to the store in them. I've done all kinds of things and not once have these popped out. In fact, there was a couple of times that I was like, oh, they feel like might be a little bit loose, um, but no, they haven't popped out. I hope you enjoyed this video and it was helpful to even a single person. If it was, click that like button, click that subscribe button if you haven't already. There will be links down below to be able to check this out at the cheapest price on Amazon. I think when I actually ended up ordering this, there was a 10% off like click and save coupon on it on Amazon. Click that, it ended up being what, 30 some odd dollars and then plus the, the tax for my state, which bumped it back up to $42, but it still saves you some money. As usual YouTube, this has been Dave. I hope you enjoyed this. I will see you guys all in the next video. Peace out.